All right, so we made it into the Mandrake here, and we basically have to go to the end of this section here to find all of the cards. Oh, dude, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, ready, guys? Like, I'm sure all of this is like ultra rare stuff. Oh, here we go, boys. This promo card, $4. It's like some sort of claymation Pokemon there. Absolutely jumble from the base set. The second anniversary. Oh, dude, we got a stock. Okay. Random boosters, Tommy. All right, let's go around the corner. Oh, look, who are these? Who are these rebels? We're here to buy some Yu Gi Oh cards. The, mean, these Pokemon are. Cards. Oh, dude, all right. So it looks like we got like a couple pages. So I know they used to do like uh, bricks of Pokemon cards, but I think since I made the first video on here, it's got super duper popular and everyone sort of bought it. So now they do like folders. You can buy like folders full. So this one here, it looks like Diamond and Pearl era. Arceus level X down the bottom there. Oh, and then we got the E series hollows and crystals. Oh. Angus, 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 look at this, look at this. Right there, right there is Crystal Ho Ho, oh, uh, Crystal Golem, and these like ultra rare Sky Ridge cards. Yeah, I was looking at that Ho Ho one, that's a nice card. But then, then, so like, I'm pretty sure, oh, and it's first edition, so this yeah. is like ultra super rare, right? But then look at the price tag. I know, I, $500. Know, here's, here's the thing, Ando, here's yep, the thing. Yep. I, I look at these Pokemon cards as my boys, and I have to tell you, I love those boys. You love those boys? I love those boys. I love those boys. The next to it is like $450, so $450, and it's shiny, gold shiny magic art, which is alone worth something, and the red Gyarados at the back. Can you guys see it? Oh, I don't know. And then look at this, look at this shiny gold star red Gyarados as well, and all the gold stars. $750. Raikou. Yeah, that's it. What do you think yeah, of these Pokemon like, cards? Oh, you know what I say, as Angus, echoing his sentiment, I love those boys. I love those boys. I love each and it. Oh, look. Okay, so we've got full arts. These are individual cards as well. <laughs> Stuff down here. So we've got like a random Pokemon tin. I think from like the Valentine's update. Look at this. And then we've got the EX series. So a couple. Yeah, and look, $10. $10 for the uh, first edition Deoxys. EX like shift tree as well. Um, Pokemon old series. <laughs> Did you just break something? <laughs> <laughs> this kid. <laughs> <clears throat> what do I get? Do I I want to buy a whole binder, but I also don't want to spend like five hundred dollars on odd because it's a lot. And I think they're individually like in hey, cases. Andrew, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are these Pokemon over here? They're, I've never seen them before. They're not Pokemon, dude. <laughs> Actually, they're Digimon. They're Digimon. No. What? Digi Digi Digital yeah, yeah, yeah. monsters. Digital monsters. Digimon fighting champions. That's the. Ex oh my gosh, it's a Charizard, guys. What is? That's not a first edition, but it's seven hundred dollars. Hey, look, it's Kubo tops. What? Yeah. <laughs> look, it's one hundred twenty bucks, dude. It's Kaboot Ops, yeah. A a hun Ops. 120. Yeah. But why is that Charizard? Is that um, Suicune's? Suicune. What did you just Come say? on, dude. Suicune. You're with the Pokemon Master. You can't be like pronouncing. That's Jotan. There's a $10 Charizard there. Mm. And what are these web. One. No, no, no. What's that? 108. It's 180 bucks, dude. It is. What does it even do? What is it? I kind of want it. Web. Web. Dude, what is it? Should I get it? 180 bucks. It's a bit uh, of a wild card. Then we've got like $10 Nintendo 64 Snorlax thing down here. I'm gonna get that, that looks sick. <laughs> oh, then the classic, like the best part about Yu-Gi-Oh! in uh, Tokyo is they actually have the HP like they do in the anime, so in the boxes. This is all pretty cool. Look at the price tag. That is literally, is that $20,000? Yep. Why? Why is that $20,000? Starter box. That's a $20,000 Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> what the heck, dude? This is what insane. Are the, odds buying it? the odds of me buying it? Yeah. If we if, yeah. if we say the same number right now, I have to buy this for twenty thousand oh, dollars. What are the okay? One in fifty. All right. Three, two, one, twenty-five. Oh. <laughs> so guys, we made it to another uh, Mandurake store, which is basically the second-hand stores here in Japan that sell all the crazy collectibles, like the rare cards, the rare Pokemon boost packs. But this one we're going to right now is the rarest one of all. It's in a small little town outside of Tokyo. And uh, ever since I've been coming to Tokyo, I've been going to this one because it's the best one by absolute far. Five stories of secondhand goodness. Now I know a couple of like the really back end shops in this uh, five story complex that sell like Pokemon boosters and single cards. So hopefully we can find something rarer than we just found at the uh, one in the main Tokyo area. Dude, I'm so, this thing, it gets me so excited I'm out of breath, like oh my gosh. Hopefully we can find something sick. Let's have a look in there. There's strictly no filming, but your boy, I've got you covered. So uh, I'll, let's not get hit by kids on bikes. Uh, without further ado, let's head inside, see what rare Pokemon boost packs we can find. It's going to be sick. Let's do it. Oh, dude, there's like a uh, in-the-box Pikachu Game Boy Color. Like, that's... Oh, my gosh. This is insane. Look at all... This is all, like, expensive, expensive. 440 490 What do you reckon, Phil? Worth it? Nah, really. Nah? Game Boy Micro? 
Ah, so, uh, the, the uh, eBay prices. Mm. What about that? That's only I eighty-five bucks. Yeah. Japanese. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. This is crazy how like mint condition it is too. Why is this dude worth like a hundred and sixty-two dollars? What? What's so special? I reckon I got this one. I got like six hundred of these tomorrow. I don't get it. Here we go, boys. Mandurate card shop. So we come in here. All sorts of different cards, but then the Pokemon section is usually straight here. Oh my gosh, it hasn't changed at all. What sort of steel stuff do we have today? Oh, they got the uh, Ancient Mew in Japan. Classic. Look at the, the amount of Charizards here, absolutely insane. So we got like 20 bucks each too. I think they're all evolution reprints though. 13 for Blastoise, eight dollars for the uh, the Bla oh, 13 for the Venusaur, $8 for the Blastoise. And then look at all these E-Series cards. Yeah, so like the selection is really, really the same as the other place. It looks like, I don't know what this is though. Station System File. Interesting, then Pokemon Christmas cards there too. A couple like theme decks, we got, I don't know what these are, $12 for a Pokemon Pikachu Park or something. Then these shiny Venusaurs up here, $8. Might have to get that one, that looks pretty sick. A couple of card sleeves, and then the same booster we got, the Web 1. But this one's even more expensive. I, I think we got actually a good deal on ours. Ours was 180, this is 190. Shiny E-Series cards. The artwork on those ones is like actually insane. And then more of the latest stuff. So we got like Rainbow Evolutions, Full Art cards, Dragonite. A couple of the Secret Red Gold cards as well. How much are they? Okay, 170 bucks for that one. Insane. So then we got stickers. And is there any cool seal stuff down here? Not really. I mean, we've got more of the same stuff that's like on the shop up there. What is that? I don't know, 40 bucks. This is always the craziest thing I've ever seen, all this stuff. Mm. But what does Zando get? I don't know, I want these ones. Not for sale Charizards. I'm sure there's something crazy. Mewtwo. I know it's like original artwork. That's his, that's that's pretty cool. That Mewtwo there. Ah. So fellas, made it into another second-hand Mandurake. This is where mm. they do all the second-hand shops, and this one is by far the best one. I just went up seven flights of stairs. Did you do the stairs? Yeah, I took, I took the stairs. I'm red in the M face. Macardio, I'm sweating. Oh, Macardi is shot. I haven't walked too. that much in years. Anyway, let's have a look at the selection. I already see some mm. absolute bangers. Check this one out right here, cameraman. This is an E-Series full lot boost pack for two hundred dollars. I actually don't know the sets. I'm guessing it's like Expedition, the base set, Sky Ridge, and Aquapolis. Like this is ultra rare stuff. They have four. Mm. A combination of four for 200, something and like, you know what, let's break the bank count, get four of those, and then if we go down here, they've got this ultra rare Pokemon card tin, and if it's got boosters inside of it, this could literally be worth an absolute fortune. It's 130 bucks. So we're looking at potentially like $330 mm. right now. Do you... No moves. No moves? Oh, okay. Sorry. So guys, it was getting pretty risky towards the end there, but we finally made it back to Australia. I didn't get kicked out of the country, got kicked out of the store though, but that's alright. Um, I really wanted to film you, for you guys, and I know it's like really tough in those shops to try and film, because they're really, really strict and they hate like, you know, I think they don't like uh, foreign people coming in, because they'd really prefer to give it to the like, you know, Japanese people. But I found the shops and uh, I thought I'd just try and film for you guys. So I managed to get a whole bunch of epic sort of stuff, and guys, do not stress. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna unwrap everything here. It's all gonna be individual videos. It's all gonna hood. And I'm gonna do a massive Japan haul in uh, at the end of this week, I'm pretty sure, to show you guys everything I got in Japan. But just quickly to wrap up the uh, shopping vlog right now, because you know what? If I was watching this, I'd get really curious as to what I end up did purchasing, because there's a lot of stuff that when I opened it up in the store, I was like, oh, no, nah, this isn't quite what I'm looking for, or like it didn't come with a few boosters or something. So, this is everything that I end up buying. 
we got uh, a, what is this? It's like the Diamond and Pearl Japanese online starter kit in its full entire box. I thought this was an absolute steal at 20 bucks. So, got that one, got a couple promos right there. Uh, I'm going quickly because I am going to do a detailed up close look on everything you got here. These right here are individual blocks. They're $17 each. Each one right here has a rare holo on the front. And then inside here are like randomly selected like Japanese people trade their cards in. And then they'll just get a block of them, wrap them up, 70 bucks, slap a couple holos in there. And then these are the blocks. So we've got three cubes to unbox, three of those bad boys. Really, really excited about those ones. Then we've got a Nintendo 64 Porygon and Snorlax Pokemon promo card game Pocket Monsters book. This thing is like a Japanese Nintendo 64 exclusive book. Inside are a couple elite exclusive Pokemon cards. One box that one, I'll show you guys what's inside. I thought that was an absolute steal at 10 bucks. I know, $10 for that one. Then we got, I thought this was pretty random, but like this was put on the uh, really rare section, so it must be worth something. It's uh, every single booster of this random Japanese sticker expansion. 20 bucks, it's got a uh, st Statoshi, Statoshi Pikachu, which is Ash's Pikachu on the front there. So that was pretty cool. Then, this was the first like really massive purchase that I did. We got the Web Series exclusive booster. Now, this was 180 US dollars, which is insane, I know, but it is so ridiculously rare. I'll go into more detail when I unbox it, but there's only one opening on the whole of YouTube, I'm pretty sure, of this booster. And guys, I don't even know what's inside of this. I gotta do some more research, but this is like some ultra rare stuff. So that's an 180 US dollar booster. And if you sold it online on eBay, because you can't even find it, right? The only place to find it was in that store, and that was already really cheap. I think this sells for up to $2,000 on eBay. It's insane. Anyway, we got that one. Then we got the sealed boosters. This is obviously a base set Team Rocket. That was epic. These ones are really, really sick, they're guaranteed a hollow in every single booster. And it's from the base set days, and it's Team Rocket. You cannot flipping go wrong at all. 25 bucks. Uh, it's a pretty stock standard price, to be honest than these ones. These are ultra mega rare E-Series boosters. Not Skyridge, not Expedition, not Aquapolis, but a ultra rare side E-Series expansion only ever sold in Japan for a few months. Celebrating the release of Pokemon Coliseum. We have E-Series Pokemon Coliseum expansion. Every single artwork boosters right here. This is gonna be a sick opening. Then we got $10, oh, this is 12 bucks. $12 for the uh, Pikachu promo right here. It comes with a whole bunch of different stuff. I think this is given out as some sort of promo. I was keen to unbox it, I saw that. I was like, 12 bucks, can't go wrong. I think that's really rare. And that's pretty much everything I picked up as the uh, second-hand haul from Japan. There's always such sick products there, and like really rare stuff you'd never think about. But that's uh, everything we pretty much got, and uh, I'll definitely do an unboxing video of everything, so make sure you stay subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the secondhand shopping video. But most of all, guys, what are you going to do? You got to keep on gaming! Alright, guys, next time, I'll see you then.